Welcome everyone. Our goal in this last assignment is to find the volume of the glass part of this light bulb. So I got this light bulb from online. Sorry it doesn't have a ruler to go with it, so my answers might not be exact. But I'm going to take you through how I found the volume of this glassed in part of this light bulb. To find this volume, I made these points along the top of the of the glass, called the one on the y-axis A, and found its point, 0 and 0 0.57 and E on the x-axis. Then I made a slider over here, measured EF and FG and found their ratio. Okay, and then I set that as the slope of the parabola. Okay, and this would change the parabola based on, that, on how I moved the slider. Then I approximated it to meet with that point H on the end of the light bulb. Okay, so that parabola approximates this part of the light bulb. Thus I got the slope was about 0.25 so the equation of the parabola is about 0.25 x squared plus 0.57. That 0.57 is the y-intercept of A. Next I created the circle in a similar way using sliders and I found the equation of this circle to be x minus 1.89 squared plus y squared equals 1.20 squared. So if we solve for y, we get this top equation here to be h of x equals the square root of 0.144 minus the quantity x minus 1.89 squared. So we found the equation for this, this part of the light bulb is that parabola. And the equation for the rest of the top of the light bulb is this equation. Now we can use a piecewise function, as we learned in Calculus 1, to split it up and find the total volume. So the piecewise function would be 0.25x squared plus 0.57 for x between 0 and 0.64, because for that part of it, it goes from 0 to where they intersect at 1.64. And it would be the second equation for x between 1.64 and 3.08. So the first part is from 0 to 1.64, this part of it. The second part is that piece of the circle from 1.64 to 3.08. Now we're going to use that slice method from calculus 1 to integrate f of x squared times pi dx over both the pieces. And using a calculator, I found the first integral was 3.456, and the second integral was 4.733. So when you add those together, you get a total volume of 8.19 units cubed. Now I think that might be a little small because I just pasted a, a picture of a light bulb on here and I don't actually have it in inches or meters or any kind of units. So um, that's how you find the volume of a light bulb using the Geometer Sketchpad. I hope uh, this made sense to you and I hope you had a good time watching it. Thank you.